Hi everybody, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com and Miss Melinda.com. Super excited to be here with you today, bringing you an unboxing. And this is a very special unboxing because I already took a peek inside, so I know what's in here. This is the new tarot deck that Alice Smeets was kind enough to send me. So like I said, I've already taken a peek inside. I wasn't sure exactly um, what arrived. So let's just go ahead and pull what's inside out. This is the new tarot deck from Alice Smeets. It is the Gift of Life Tarot. The Gift of Life Tarot from Alice Smeets. I'm going to uncut the bubble tape while we're talking. If you're not familiar with Alice Smeets, she is the creator of the Ghetto Tarot, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous tarot deck that I have been using for many years. And for many years, it was my go-to deck. It was the only one that I used. So the Ghetto Tarot is a really beautiful pictorial depiction of Haiti and the lives of average people in Haiti. And they are dressed up as the characters from the Tarot and photographed. So she is one of the first and only people do, to do photographic Tarot. She's a photographer and an artist. So this is the Gift of Life Tarot, the Gift of Life Tarot, and the box is beautiful. Let's go ahead and open it together for the first time. As I was saying, she's one of the first and only people to do photographic tarot. So she's an artist and a photographer, and she actually makes these... Um, decks using her own photography. So when I open the box, this is what is inside. There's a really beautiful booklet. And then this is a very nice booklet. It's really thick, very well manufactured. It feels great in your hands. It's a lot more information actually than what came with the Ghetto Tarot. So there have been some changes and even um, some upgrades here, which is surprising because the Ghetto Tarot was already a really fabulous deck, but this is a, a really nice, pretty thick, high quality booklet. And then the, tar the Tarot deck is split into two different sections here. These are snug so nicely inside this box. I love the packaging. So split into two different sections, each separately wrapped. And I cannot wait to look at some of these cards together. So let me start taking off the plastic very carefully. So excited to receive this deck to look through it and start working with it. Oh, wonderful. So just like the Ghetto Tarot, these are really thick, nice cards. They're actually... Um, a bit thinner than the Ghetto Tarot and also a bit smoother. These have a really nice smooth feeling in your hand. I like that because um, the Ghetto Tarot was really, really thick and a little bit more matte. Um, we could do a comparison video maybe at some point, but these seem like they are easier to shuffle. I actually, I'm shuffling them now and they are really easy to shuffle. So really nice um, finish, a little bit glossy, um, a little bit um, kind of like slippery or shiny and really easy to shuffle just gliding through your hand. I'm taking a look at some of these cards, really beautiful. So let me see, it looks like this is, um, okay, so this is a different philosophy. It looks like this is using the elements rather than using the um, traditional suits for the tarot. So for instance, right here I have the five of earth, the five of earth, really um, beautiful photograph. 
And I actually need to take the time to read up about this, to read up about where it has been photographed and kind of what is the story and philosophy behind it. I didn't do that yet because I was so excited just to open it and start looking at the cards. We've got the Ten of Earth. I love this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful woman. This wise um, crone figure or grandmother kind of figure. The Ten of Earth. That looks like perhaps somebody from Tibet or Nepal. I'm just kind of guessing. Mother of... I believe that this says sun, but I need to do a little bit more research, like I was saying. So mother, mother of something, which we will find out. Beautiful photographs. Beautiful photographs, Alice. So let's open the next set. It looks as if this set actually has the major cards in it. Let's see what's in here because the first one that I'm seeing is the fool. Oh my God, and I love the photo. Look at this beautiful, innocent child. This is wonderful for the fool card. I love this, love this so much. Okay, oh my God, the magician. Yeah, so these are all the majors and they're gorgeous. Look at the magician, how wonderful. Oh my God, I can't believe this deck. The High Priestess, I'm gonna want to show all of them. <laughs> the High Priestess, really gorgeous. Let me do some shuffling and see what comes up. I like that there's less um, edging as well. With the Ghetto Tarot, there was a lot more space um, around the photo on each card. And as my deck got old, I ended up um, doing some, I ended up edging my cards. And I ended up liking how they looked better with less space around the photos, even though I loved those cards, and I still do. I love those cards right from the beginning. Um, and I've never edged a deck before. So that was a new experience for me and I was surprised that I actually enjoyed having um, less of the space around the photo. Um, but when I did that I also had to cut out the description or the titles of the cards on the bottom and that was um, that was a con that was not something that I preferred. So um, I think because these ones are a little bit thinner and because they glide a bit easier they will be less prone to um, breakage and fraying around the edges with you. So hopefully I won't have to edge these eventually. They do glide really well. They're a little bit um, smaller. So one thing with Alice Smeet's cards, they tend to be a little bit bigger than the average card, which I don't mind at all, but it takes a little bit of getting used to if you haven't used a larger deck before. And actually these ones, the Gift of Life, are a little bit smaller than the Ghetto Tarot is. So I, I find that uh, a little bit more convenient as well. Here's the Temperance card. I love all of the nature. That's pretty uh, common, a pretty common theme in her work. Uh, a lot of nature, a lot of shots outside and using the natural environment to create the story of the tarot. So really beautiful work here. I'm so excited about these cards. Look at death. Here's the death card. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Really wonderful. So let me just take a quick look and see what the suits are since um, I wasn't sure about that one card and I wasn't sure about suit of water, suit of earth, suit of air, suit of fire. So that must have been the queen of air. Yeah, the, the mother of air, mother of air. So not the mother of sun, but the mother of air. So she has used the elements water, earth, air, and fire is how she has listed them instead of the traditional tarot suits. Really, really beautiful cards. Cannot wait to start using them. Really excited to have them 
Thank you so much, Alice Smeets.